The initial inspiration for Dust was two things. One of them was the idea of trenches. I was intrigued by the number of men in the First World War that were living in these trenches. And the fact that they had to dig into the earth is something that is interesting for me because you know, somehow I feel we come out of the earth and we go back to the earth and they're digging themselves into death because a lot of those men knew they were going to die once they stepped out of that trench. That aspect was interesting for me. And the other aspect was about women and the shift in how society regarded these women and the fact that they shifted from being housewives to suddenly being women who worked in factories, so they were workers. This transformation in the First World War was very fascinating. It was a dramatic shift of how society looked at women. Having some experience with my own training, Indian classical dance and contemporary training, I've always been fascinated by the language and the ballet body and working with English National Ballet What's really been interesting is I've had to make choices that I would not normally make. And that's great for me because I'm having to search in new places. Everybody's body is different, so depending on what language you have, that makes it even more different, or depending on what culture or education you have. The fact that I'm working with these very technically strong, classically trained dancers from the ballet world, what's interesting is my vocabulary looks different. The same vocabulary that my I would do or my contemporary dancers would do. So I'm trying to look for the essence of it, to retain the essence. However, I'm trying to also emphasize the strength of the ballet body. I was curious to see what the same language would look like on these extremely talented, supercharged technical bodies. I didn't know what title it should be. I think I came up with 30, and all of them didn't sound interesting to me. It was just too obvious. I think there was this poem that this poet had written during the First World War, and the word dust was in that poetry. Dust is connected to death for me. We turned to dust. In a way, dust was very relevant to this piece because it is about life and it's about death. There's a little saying that I say in one of my pieces that in life and death, we're continuously moving. In life, we're breathing. And in death, our body continues to move because we're continuing to decompose. But we're continuing to decompose into dust. So I would describe dust with these following words, life, death, absence, and memory. This is the first time I've worked with a ballet company. I think like all things, when you share something with them and you exchange something, you don't just affect them, they affect you. And so you carry that affectation or that memory or that feeling of that affection of you being affected by that person with you into other things. 